right, so here's a quick update for you. So, as I said in the last video, I was planning on a move and I figured out where it's going to be now, actually going down to Valdosta. It's about 250 miles south of here at Cherokee County. And it's so it's about a four hour drive down there, straight off of Highway 75. They have um, two runways down there, um, an 8,000 foot by 150 foot wide, as opposed to what we have here, which is uh, 5,000 by 75 feet wide. And they also have another run a runway that's, uh, five, I think, 5,500 feet or 5,600 feet. And I think it's by either 75 or 100 wide. And it's a towered field. And I've been, I went down there on, on uh, Friday and checked it out. And everybody down there is super friendly and is uh, more than accommodating. They've got room for me and they're happy for me to operate down there. It's actually a fairly quiet field. They don't have a lot of operations, even though they have a tower. There's a couple of scheduled Delta flights, I believe, that are maybe um, regionals or turboprops or something that come in there just uh, twice a day and other than that it's fairly quiet down there so it should be ideal so anyway um, needless to say I'm, I'm putting the aircraft on a uh, low loader or actually uh, a land all which is uh, you know it's going to be an oversized load so it's going to have a couple of escorts following it uh, one leading and one following and uh, that's going to happen on Thursday. So as you can see behind me, I've got the wings off here. Now you've probably already seen that. Um, but anyway, I've got the wings off. I've also taken the foreplane off here, as you can see. So and uh, made some, um, you know, set, set up here some mounting brackets, just bolted onto the forward bulkhead there. So you know we can anchor this down. And I'm going to put uh, some foam blocks. some uh, foam blocks underneath the keel as well so that way uh, it's not just going to be riding on the nose strut the whole time it'll be uh, you know pretty much you know cinched down onto the foam blocks and the main gear will just be um, strapped there at the knee of the legs there and I don't know if you can see this as well and I'll show it to you later as well but I've got the gear swapped so the axles are now pointing inboard and that way it's um, narrower than the eight foot six that the, that the trailer requires. Um, if I had the, the gear in the normal position, I believe it's there 108 inches as the track is the width, which is more than that. So the, the wheels would be hanging off the edge. So anyway, um, there's a bunch of other things I've got to do. So I'm going to be taking a U-Haul truck and uh, putting the wings in it and the four plane in it that you see there and you know transport those down and all the other different bits and pieces that I need and, and potentially um, Friday I'll be back putting stuff back together and possibly by the weekend or Monday I'll be ready to taxi it around down there again. So that's the plan, um, we'll go with that and uh, yeah I'll give you another update uh, once, probably once I'm down there. So thanks for tuning in and uh, see you on the next one, cheers.